Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to take a deep dive into the life of the legendary chess player, Jose Raul Capablanca. Jose Raul Capablanca was a Cuban chess player who is widely regarded as one of the greatest chess players of all time. He was born on November 19, 1888, in Havana, Cuba. Capablanca learned to play chess at a very young age, reportedly by watching his father and playing against family members. His talent for the game quickly became apparent, and by the age of 13, he was already considered one of the strongest players in Cuba. In 1909, at the age of 20, Capablanca traveled to the United States to play in the Rice Memorial Tournament in New York. He made a significant impact by winning the tournament, defeating top players of the time. This success marked the beginning of his international chess career. In 1921, he achieved one of the most remarkable accomplishments in chess history by defeating Emmanuel Lasker to become the world chess champion. Capablanca's victory over Lasker was notable for its ease and marked the end of Lasker's 27-year reign as world champion. Capablanca held the title of world chess champion from 1921 to 1927. His reign was relatively short compared to some other champions, but he continued to dominate the chess world during this time. In 1927, Capablanca lost the world title to Alexander Alekhine in a match that is still famous for its intensity and drama. Tragically, Capablanca passed away in 1942 at the age of 53 due to a cerebral hemorrhage. Jose Raul Capablanca's contributions to chess, particularly in the realm of endgames and positional play, continue to be studied and admired by chess players worldwide. His legacy as one of the greatest chess players in history remains firmly established. We hope you enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Time2Chess for more interesting content. Thanks for watching.